Hello everyone! Today we learned all about the difference between warm and cool colors. And to show what we learned, we are going to be making some cool cats and some hot dogs. So we will be using cool colors to color in our cats and warm colors to color in our hot dogs. So to get started, you're going to get a piece of white paper and you're going to get two drawing guides. One for your cool cat and one for your hot dog. So pick which one you want to start with and you're just gonna follow the steps that you see in the picture. So I'm gonna start over here, and I wanna make sure I'm not drawing teeny tiny. I wanna make it nice and big, but make sure I have room for both animals on the page. So let's see, my first step for my cool cat is I need to draw a shape. It kind of makes me think of a ghost. So there's its body. Then I add a nose, which is an upside down triangle. Then I give it some eyes and a mouth. Then I do the middle of the eye and the outside of the ears, as well as three lines, one and then two smaller ones for the feet. Then I add the paws and then the middle of the ears. Then over here we've got some whiskers and a curly tail and some claws. Okay, so there is my cat. Now I'm going to do my hot dog. So to do that, I'm gonna start with its body shape. It looks like it's got a head and a separate body shape. So there's the head, there's the body. My cat might be a little bigger than my dog. It's got two eyes with another circle on the inside, some ears, a nose, got a little spot here, and some, oh, I forgot to add my paws already. So over here we got a line again, and then two lines, and then we have the paws, which are circles. And you can also erase some lines, like I don't need those lines anymore, so I'm gonna erase them. And then we add the claws and the tail, some eyebrows. Looks like they added some little lines in the eyelids. And they even added a bone. So if you wanna put a bone by your hot dog, you can. Okay, so the next step is I want to color in my animals. And I wanna use the cool colors on my cool cats. So the, the easiest way I find to do this is to get my colors out and organize them. So I have my purple, I have my blue, I have my green. This is a type of blue, so I can put that over there. So if it's a shade of the color, because sometimes you have dark blues and light blues or dark greens and light greens, you can use all of those on your cat. And then for my dog, I need the warm colors. So there's a, a reddish color and my orange. Now pink can be over here because pink is a shade of red. If you add white to red, you get pink. So that's in the red family. So we're gonna keep that over there with there. And some yellow. Now there are a few colors that aren't gonna be anywhere and those are our neutral colors. Those colors are colors like brown and gray and black. Those aren't gonna be on either of our animals because those are not either warm or cold. They're in the middle, which means neutral. So I'm just gonna keep those off to the side. So it is up to you how you color your animal. You can use as many of the warm and cool colors on each as you want. Does not all just have to be one color. But you wanna take your time and not scribble. So I'm gonna keep working on my animal, but I wanna show you a finished one. When you're done coloring in your cool cat and your hot dog, think about your background. Where are they at? Mine is inside. You can see the wall behind them. Their food is right here. This is Sparkle the cat and Woofy the dog. And But you don't have to draw them inside. If you wanna draw them outside, you can. If you wanna draw them him in a dog house and her sitting in a cat bed, or this could also be a him and that could be a her. So it is up to you how you finish your warm, or sorry, hot dog 
and cool cat pictures. So take your time and work hard and have an incredible art class.